One star adult. Remember, four star above is what. <laughs> oh man. So good we didn't take the shot on Cole in that one star red deer. What a waste that would have been. Welcome back. You know what's up. Let's give this thing a spin. Mouflon. Alright, let's do it. Let's run to the truck real quick. Make sure we got uh we're gonna do it with the 270. We got the 238 as a backup. Uh no call for sheep, so don't gotta worry about that. Mouflon. Let's see, primary habitat, island forest, secondary habitat, mountains, 9 o'clock drinking time, as usual. Alright, so we want to go to an area with a cabin because they're higher fitness, where you need permission. When you unlock it, they're usually higher fitness, according to the encyclopedia, so that's what we're going to do. Um, it's a little early for the drinking time, it's 8.49. We're going to bop it up to after 9 o'clock. Reason being is... I want them to already be at their drinking zone as opposed to me catching them along the way and, you know, increasing my chances of spooking them. So, just want to, as soon as we pop out the cabin, just want to make sure there's, since we uh, time travel a little bit, I just want to make sure there's not one sitting right here in front of me as soon as we pop out. I don't want to start running off and spook a herd of move along and boom. Be kind of stupid. All right, let's get some red deer up here. One star mature. Well, very tempted to uh, call that guy out of the herd. Maybe if we get in a position, we might do that. Oh. Well, they're spooked. I'm not going to waste my time too much on them. That's fine. All right, we're getting pretty close. We got the uh, hunting stand right up here above it, in front of us. There's our mouflon. There's their feed zone. About halfway, right in between their drinking zone and their feeding zone. Just glass in the hills where they should be coming from, making sure they're, if we catch them coming along the way, catch them coming down the hill. All right, we got an audio indication up here. Just want to make sure we're not missing out on any herd up here. Just make sure we don't got any move along on their way to the water. Oh, okay, that's a brown bear. Adult female. Hmm. Alright, kind of curious. They usually travel in pairs. These leaves always get me. It always sounds like something's running up next to you. Like I said, they usually travel in pairs, so... Where's your male? All right, well, I don't want to get too distracted from the Mufalon, so if he's not popping out right away, we'll just continue with what we're uh, what we're doing here. All right, I think this is that same herd of red deer with the uh, one-star mature. And being that I haven't seen any Mufalon yet, I may go ahead and uh, call that one-star mature if I can verify where his position is at within this, this herd up here. Right next to the hunting stand. So, what's that? A rabbit or a fox, something running through the grass over there. Hmm. Alright, I don't want to reposition. In the in the um, logic on this um, recognizer, for, it's kind of hard. It could be near, you could be right on top of that that deer and it's not gonna it's gonna do something behind it or something but so trying to reposition a little bit to see if we can make sure that's our one star mature double checking just to see if there's any mufalon up on the hill because i don't want to take the shot on this red deer if we're going to spook some mufalon which of course is our goal here so let's see 
Oh, well, good thing we tried to reposition and take the shot from a different spot because we would have spooked these guys for sure. One star adult. Remember, four star above is what... <laughs> oh, man. So good we didn't take the shot on Colin that one star red deer. What a waste that would have been. Well, now I gotta kind of double check which one you are because they all bunched up there. It's this one right here that we're looking at, right? Yeah. I'm just get on the other side of this bush real quick. All right. That's him right there. It looks like his organs are about under the water right where he's at though so I don't think I'm gonna take that shot we'll wait for him to come out of that water I'm not a hundred percent sure if it would work or not but I'm not gonna risk it not on a five star here we go Dropped him. All right. All right, just take one last peek at these guys running off. Just see what else was left. All right, well, pretty much gone. Let's go get him. We're gonna have to drag this guy out of the water. At least it didn't float downstream. Let's see what we got. Double lung. He kind of kept... We kind of shot him while he was moving forward still, so we barely missed the heart. Just a little behind it there. 92%, 139 pound, 5 star, 5 star hunt. Look at the curl. Very nice. 478 on the points. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's go, uh, let's get them mounted. Let's try upstairs. Okay, this will do. The wolf attacking Mufalon, or the two Mufalon fleeing. I think I like the wolf attacking Mufalon. So I think we'll go with that. We don't have the wolf yet from Transylvania. Pop him in there. And, uh, you know, when we land on the gray wolf next on the wheel, I think we'll come to Transylvania and get a gray wolf for this mount. That'll be the goal. Let's see what he looks like. They're actually a pretty small animal. Only what it was like 140 pounds, 150 pounds, something like that. Pretty cool mount though. I can dig it. All right, guys, another successful hunt, another five star hunt. The wheel. It's been uh, pretty lucky so far for me. I've had quite a few five star hunts, save for the uh, mountain goat, I believe. Um, 478 score for the Mufalon. Not bad, not bad. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.